What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday. How is everybody doing today? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Sunday. It's Species Sunday. I'm going to do a Species Sunday, then I'm going to give you a tour of this beautifully cleaned up greenhouse that my man Brian Campbell came over yesterday and just did some serious work on, making everything look great. Real excited about it. But today's species uh, on this Species Sunday uh, is a fish that I never get to see. Uh, I don't know if you all have any of these. I want to talk about today a fish that is great for a planted tank. Um, they root around in the, the, the roots and kind of down in the substrate. It's always good to kind of get, get that stuff kind of mixed up. Kind of like earthworms with uh, like a garden soil. It's good to have earthworms in there to aerate. Similar kind of thing with the planted aquarium. Go figure. Um, I want to talk today about coolie loaches. Check out this coolie loach. Now, obviously I'm not doing a video of my coolie loaches. I actually have one that I will link. You can barely see it. But I did see my coolie loach the other day, and I want to talk about them because I think they're pretty tight. Um, coolie loaches come from Indonesia and the Malayan Peninsula. Um, they're mainly nocturnal. Um, I saw mine early in the morning after I did a big feeding. Um, they say they live up to 10 years. Mine's, I've had mine for like five years. Shout out to my guy Brajan, who uh, actually called me up and said, yo, I've got this sick coolie loach. He's, he gave me a coolie loach, my coolie loach, and I'll, you'll show it to you in the videos. See how they got this pattern here. Uh, these patterns vary. Uh, you know, you see some with like all spots, and you can see some with like lines. There's a lot of varieties of them. I don't know if they're bred like that or, or captured or how it goes. Um, but mine is actually all pink, so it's got this like uh, bar here, and then the rest of it is pink. So it's pretty crazy looking. So it's all pink. Um, I don't know if it's just some sort of like recessive gene or whatever it is, but they do come in a lot of different uh, varieties. I'm a big fan of them. Um, pH, they can handle five to seven, up to eight. I think I've seen mine in. Um, I didn't really notice they have spikes actually underneath their eyes. And you see this with a lot of the loach species. I had a Botia angelicus, and I would love to get another one of those, by the way. Uh, and they have like the little spikes that come out. If somebody gets near them, they just go, pow. Uh, that's a little more uh, out in the open fish, not as nocturnal as the coolie loaches. But um, they're egg layers, they like a lot of sand, they cruise around, they're real beneficial in a planet tank, so I highly recommend them. Um, they like to be in, in not so much schools, but they are social fish. So I've seen them when they swim around, like a whole bunch of them, and it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so they're like all like kind of swim together in and out of each other. It's not a not a not a behavior you see very often with fish, so I might actually try getting some more of them just to see if they come out a little more. So, uh, definitely pretty cool. Uh, a tip for you all, if you want to catch your coolie loach, um, because you hardly ever see them, they're tough to catch, um, get a, a big, long, this is how they do it at the breeders, by the way, get a big, long, uh, like skinny PVC pipe and cap one end of it, and then put a little, tiny little hole so the water can go out, but the bigger than or smaller than the coolie loach, put a tiny little hole in there, and then put some food down at the bottom of that. So what you'll do is you'll have this big long tube with a cap down with a tiny little hole that the coolie loach can't get out of. You'll put food in the bottom. This works for all kinds of bottom feeders, by the way. Um, the fish will swim in there, and then you lift the other end up of the uh, tube, and the water will run out, and then you'll have your fish caught in there. It's a lot easier. So uh, definitely try that. I've used it once or twice. I don't move those fish that much. But that's what's going on. And now I'm really excited to show you the greenhouse. This is, is I mean, it's looking pretty good right now. So I'm going to grab the old camera and show you all what's going on. The uh, We'll start at the first tank up here. You guys just saw that one. I'm going to get this tripod off here. All right, so... Brian deserves all the credit. I'm trying to get Brian's bio, by the way, up on Aquatic Jungles. He just does such a great job. I got to give him all the credit in the world. We tore this tank down from nothing. Java Fern, Liguigia, um, Wisteria, Rotala, uh, all will be purling a little bit. Now, I want to show this, too. This is something that I do. This, this uh, greenhouse gets way, way, way too much light. And in a tank like this, it'll bounce off the bottom or whatever and uh, just cause a lot of algae problems. So we actually have it covered. Uh, but you can see that tank obviously looking pretty baller here. Um, we've got some swords over here and some Elodia and some rainbows. I need to bring more rainbows out. And then we've got some Anubias we just got in, which I'm real pumped about. Uh, a lot of great looking species. You guys that are uh, friends with me on Facebook, Dustin's Fish Tanks on Facebook, give me a like. 
Check out the picture of Brian holding all this Anubius. Got to give the man credit. When he's like, yo, get more Anubius, I got you, bro. So, got a lot of it. This tank I'll actually have covered as well. Um, so that's looking good. And then this goldfish tank over here, folks, is just, I just love it. I hate that glare. You see a little glare on there. Um, but yeah, the goldfish tank is just looking great. Um, Brian came over and he said, yo, we got to get these swords sinking better. Because we were putting the weights on them to sink them, but it wasn't working. So we've got them all um, just slightly rubber band to uh, weighted down PVC pipe. And the goldfish just love it. And I love staring at it. I love it because the top, I keep the top open um, just for this video, really. I'm actually going to cover it up because the goldfish come up. And of course, they're not going to do it on cue on camera, but they typically come up and are like, what's up, dude? Feed us, feed us. So you can see all the food they've, uh, all the poop they got on the bottom there. It makes it real easy to clean. By the way, when cleaning these tanks, we would do big, huge water changes and then let them sit for about five minutes or so. There's one of the fish I got up at Gerber's in Dayton. Let it sit for five, ten minutes or so, and then um, scoop up all the stuff that settles. So let it settle. I think that's important as well. Um, had a little debate between Brian and I on this tank of whether to uh, put. He wanted to put the Anubis up here, but I thought it had got too much light. So we're doing the uh, dwarf sage, and uh, I just put some of it. It's not for sale. I'm gonna let it really get going here, um, and that's fun. Oh, and then yesterday. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll skip the yesterday epic epic day um, Went to and this listen this this is for all like this the, the 14 15 16 year old people that are watching this the young guys the guys like I got no money Whatever 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 this is important. Okay during the summer get your butts on your bikes Get 10 bucks in your pocket on garage sales early Saturday morning. Get up early. Do it. You'll thank yourself later. Get up early and find yourself a garage sale, okay? Look at what I scored yesterday for a total of 15 bucks. A total of 15 bucks. I got this 29 gallon tank with the gravel. I actually added 10 pounds of my own black gravel that I already had. This lid, which I don't like, which whatever I'm using because whatever, but it's metal. And then this, you know, filter, which is actually working all right. I got this tank filter and lid for $5. Five bucks uno dos tres cuatro cinco like fun foul deutsch vielleicht yeah like five bucks okay five bucks okay if, if you, you gotta find them the way to negotiate it is this they're not marked say hey what are you asking for that and when have a number in mind of what you really want to pay i was gonna give him like five or ten he said five sold here you go a lady by the name shout out to paula a fellow lexington fish keeper was like looking at the tag and she's like sorry i already sold it to this guy it doesn't stop there, folks. The fun continues, right? Up the street a little bit. I was running in the morning because I got to get my energy right. I found this at the garage sale, neighborhood garage sale. Check it, check it, check it out. Now, look, I don't even need it. I got enough stuff going on, but I had to have it. You have no idea what I paid for that, folks. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. That was ten bucks. Now, I'm going to dig it in, whatever, when I get the time, you know, and have a little extra goldfish stuff. So, 10 bucks, Folks, go to garage sales. Find the stuff at garage sales. I mean, you owe it to yourself to do it early in the morning. Go find the deals. Ask them if it does it hold water. If you can, have them fill it up with water there. But, like, garage sales are where you find good deals. So, oh, I can't believe I didn't start talking about that earlier. And then I want to show what else we got going on here. We got the uh, Crip tank, which I just throw a bunch of Crips in. Got a ton of Lotus in. I'm actually going to be selling some Lotus out of my 220, which is looking good, by the way. Cryptocrine, Osteriana. Um, got some Blossii over here that I'm real pumped about as well. And then I want to show this, too. I got two separate uh, Java Moss tanks. I've got Taiwan Moss and I got Flame Moss in. So I'm uh, fixing the flame moss. The flame moss has actually already started to grow. I'm real pumped about that. So we just did a real good job. We, Brian just nailed it. He just cleaned out every tank, got everything looking real good. So, and then of course, Jungle Val, and then I got uh, Giant Sag in the back there, separated out all nice for you all. So really excited. I mean, I just had to show the tanks looking as good as they are. You know, Stargrass is in here. I got to talk about that. Stargrass is severed because when I get Stargrass in, it sucks and it usually withers back. So we've got it in its own tank. That way it won't, uh, if it does melt back, which it will, um, this tank is not dirted, by the way. Um, it, it'll just only mess up this tank. So then we'll just clean out this tank. So we don't have to have like the Stargrass mess all over everything else. So that is what I'm doing. It's just going to be a glorious day, frolicking in the greenhouse, early morning video, 
Great looking sword. Great looking Anubius. Great looking sunshine on my face. I'm excited about it. So, hope everyone's having a great week. If you like this video, give me a like. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook. I'm having an absolute blast. And I love y'all. Make it a good week. Later.